Good morning, Retro. My name is Nate. I'm Ryan. And we're going to be talking about NES games under $10. Wake up! So we are going to be talking about games under $10. Collecting is still a thing and people are still getting excited about the NES. And for those yep. people that may be on the edge of, you know, what do I look for? What are some games that are cheap? Maybe yeah. that aren't the Mario games. Uh, what, what can I find for, for 10 bucks? And so we kind of came up with a list of um, 10, 10 games. games to get you started, things to look for. Um, not a bad way to spend a few bucks and right. still get some fun on the NES. Yep, absolutely. Ryan, what do you got? So I'm going to start off with a classic, um, and it happens to be RC Pro-Am, Arcade Racer, uh, made by Rare. Um, and it's it's just great fun. Yep. Um, it's simple, there's weapons, so it's, it's an action racer, top down. I mean, it's supposed to be RC, so I guess that makes sense. Yeah. Um, but you can't beat it. I think this is you know easily under ten dollars still these days. Yep. Um, the only the only knock on it I would say is that there's no two player option. Right. But still, it's it's a classic. Customizing your vehicle, yeah. all of that kind of stuff. The tracks move very fast. You can yep. you can blow through the game really really quick. But yes. well, eventually you hit that wall where no matter what you do, you're screwed. Right. Um, but until then, it's a great game. You can always press the reset button. Yes. And there's a sequel to it that's exponentially more expensive. And yes, has two player. Yes. That will also set you back Probably near $100. Bucks. Is yeah, it down? Who knows. Okay. So my game that I picked for those sports fans out there, there's a lot of great NES sports games. Obviously a ton of baseball games are out there. Um, but one that I go to time and time again is Nintendo World Cup. So this is a soccer game that is not a traditional soccer game. First, you can play four players, yeah. which is huge, uh, but it's part of the Kunio Kun Kun, series, yep. so all of the characters look a little like chunky. And, yeah, they've got um, that style. Yeah, like River City Ransom Dodge style, ball. dodgeball, yeah. yeah. And uh, one of my favorite things about this game is you have all these power-ups for uh, kicking, kicking the ball into the goal, but guys will just fall over dead. Yes. And so the game will continue and you're running around and these guys are just like face down on the ground. Yeah. Um, but it, it's definitely worth picking up. This one has always been cheap. Yeah. You can find it, you can also find it in the two-in-one carts. I was just gonna say, I think that's where we screwed up because we, we kind of went through the games and we decided we were only gonna do one sports games each, but I think you could get World Cup with Super Spike Volleyball yes, for you the can. same price is just this game? Yeah. So maybe Absolutely. do that. Maybe do that. Double your fun. They're yeah. both great. Yeah, they are. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go with another action classic. Uh, vehicle classic game, Blaster Master. For whatever yep. reason, this is a Sunsoft classic on the NES. It just has not gone up in value. I don't yep. know why. Even after the, the hype of Blaster Master Zero and Zero Two, um, you'd think this one would have been spiking, but yep. no, not at all. And it still plays great. You can go around in a tank and it's basically an action platformer if you've not played it where you use a vehicle tra to traverse yep. but then the cool thing is you also have top-down segments because you can get out of your vehicle it changes the gameplay um, it was amazing back then yep. still holds up now very very I want to I want to match that sun so soft game oh yes with Batman uh, so this is there's three Batman games uh, on the NES system and they are kind of you know that 20 to 75 dollar yep. range but this one holds up way better than all of them. Yeah. Uh, so this is just regular Batman, the video game. The music in this is tremendous, tremendous. Yeah. There's some cut scenes that are really good. Uh, it is a very difficult game, yep. especially as you progress getting closer to, to Joker. Uh, but this is definitely worth picking up and it's always stayed under that $10 mark, which is pretty awesome. Plus so. Batman is purple. So you can't beat that. He is Purple Batman, yes. but uh, definitely a good good title to pick up, add to your collection, and if you're just looking for something fun, that's that's the one. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I'm gonna go with one that not too many people talk about. It. It's still cheap, and Nobody I think it's fun. Um, this is Solar Jetman. Yep. My copy is owned apparently by Sperling. We Thank have you, your Sperling. game. Sperling, if you ever want to see a precious Solar Jetman again, here's what I need. 10 minutes, corner of 34th and Elm, three pixie sticks, a bottle of Mountain Dew, regular, not that diet bull crap, and a copy of Little Samson. 
Yes. Uh, so what this game is, is it's really just a physics, spaceship, um, tech demo sort of feeling game on the NES. Nothing else plays like it. No. It has very steep difficulty, um, and you really need to take the time to get to know how the controls work, because you're basically fighting gravity to traverse three levels. Um, so it's kind of a cross between like, I don't know, like a Geometry Wars and like a straight up shooter. What makes this game so fun yeah. is why I hate it so much. What's it, that? It's just the floating the aspect. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of finesse to the game. Yep. Um, but it is really fun. Once you start figuring out uh, that motion, then it gets, yeah. it gets pretty fun. You get in the rhythm after a while. You get you get in a very zen zen place. It's it's good. I, I yeah. recommend picking it up. Nobody talks about that game. No, it's ever. pretty underrated. Here's one that a lot of people talk about because it's Konami. But not enough people talk. No, about. it's Jackal. Jackal yes. is a top down, um, I guess, vehicle shooter in a way. Yeah, think Commando but with jeeps. Yeah, and so you're picking up um, you're picking up POWs yep. essentially uh, by. Um, by attacking different bases, picking them up, dropping them off to a helicopter zone. Yep. But it's not just a traditional military game. It gets a little weird. So yeah. you start you start by yeah, I'm shooting some tanks, some boats, all that, and then all of a sudden the aliens come in and you're shooting alien ships and, yeah. and all that stuff. But Monuments are spitting rockets at you for some reason. Yeah, this will make your thumb numb and raw playing this uh, yeah. playing this game. You definitely move around a lot, but it's so, so good. Great soundtrack and yep. highly underrated two-player two co-op game. It's, yep. it's one of the best. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and another great co-op game and good solo, uh, my sports pick, Blades of Steel. Oh, yeah. You could make an argument for ice hockey. I personally think the polish on this is better. I love the Zamboni sequences. I love the scoreboard where you get to play a little bit of Gradius. Yep. Um, and then the fight scenes are awesome. You basically get into like a really simple brawler uh, and punch your friend's lights out. It's, it's great. Uh, I, I spend so much time playing this. And there's a label variant, uh, which is probably yeah. outside of the $10 budget, but yeah. um, this is this is inexpensive and it's a great time. You're not, you're not gonna regret playing there's it. There's some good hockey games, actually, on the NES. But Besides ice hockey? I, what's the other I one? love ice hockey. I That's like ice hockey, I too. Lead. I think most most collectors are like, either Blades of Steel or ice yeah. hockey. Yeah, it's kind of one or the other. But it's one you gotta pick up. Uh, the red label variant is pretty awesome. It is. This is a... $3 game, always has been, always will be. You can even Forever. get it for a buck sometimes. Yep. And that is Captain Skyhawk. This is a game that I talk about so many times. Yeah. You talk about it as well. This is a top-down shooter, isometric, um, kind of strange. You yeah. upgrade your, your weapons as you complete different uh, different rounds, but... And do you fly an F-15? F yeah, 16 F that can also go into space? Yeah, that's And huge. land on the space station for some right. reason? which is the most difficult part of the game, uh -huh. is uh, landing in a space Only station. Only ever use up and down. If you hit left and right, you're, you're done. You're screwed. Yeah, absolutely. But this is one that I actually grew up with as a kid, one of the first games that I got on yeah. the system. And it's held up. I play through it probably once once every year. And you can get through it in probably 45 minutes to an hour at the yeah. most. Um, it's a Milton Bradley title. Good soundtrack. I mean, good colors, yeah. all of that stuff. It's it's so underrated. I wish more people would actually talk it about really this It really is. It feels more like an arcade game at the yeah. time than a console game. Um, it's, it's awesome. I, yeah. I love it too. And you won't find it anywhere else. No, exactly. Last one, what do you got? Last one for me, I'm gonna recommend um, Snake Rattle and Roll. I think this is, is this also another rare one? I can't remember. Uh, I'm not really sure. Uh, oh, it is rare, yep. Yeah. So Snake Rattle and Roll is like an isometric platforming game where you've got these snakes and you've gotta get through obstacles in the level, yep. eat enough of the, um, I guess, food that you're supposed to catch to fatten up your snake, to weigh the scale down, to get through the level and yep. exit. And it's got this awesome, like, sort of rockabilly soundtrack. Yep. The soundtrack almost makes it. Um, the isometric view does screw with you a little bit and make it, I guess it can be frustrating, yep. uh, but the overall package, the graphics, the music, and just that pseudo 3D effect, I love this game. It's it's great. Yeah, that's definitely one that not a lot of people talk about. No, they don't. People lean more into the Marvel Madness, because yes. it's kind of similar it in a similar. way, yep. but uh, yeah, that one is definitely worth picking up. This is a Bandai game that I feel oh, like so you have to have in your collection, and yep. I wanted to end it with the Rocketeer. So, the NES is notorious for licensing yeah. movies over and over and over again, Lethal Weapon, etc. This is one that they actually did extremely, extremely well. It yeah. follows the sequence of the movie. Um, 
it, it's the music, the storyline, the characters. Um, I wish you could fly more in the game, but sure. you have to get fuel, which makes sense. So uh, just even some of the logistics are normal logistics for jetpack flying, I yeah. guess. But this is one that I had as a kid as well, and I think it still holds up. Yeah, I feel like they put day. more effort into that version of the game than they did into the movie itself. Right, absolutely. Because the Rocketeer pretty much tanked. Right. Uh, but this is great. And I think not many people knew about the game because the movie just didn't land. I guess you, what is it, a beat em up? Kind of a beat em up. I would say action sure, platformer, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of, I mean, it's, it's mixed genre. Contra ish, for sure. but not quite. Yep, absolutely. So. So these are our 10 games under $10. There's a number of other games that we kind of set to the side. Yeah. We would love to hear from you. Let us know what games could help out new collectors, those $10 and under. And obviously, yeah. recording the prices are going to change tomorrow, sure. probably. Yeah, let us know which ones that we left out that you would add to your list. Um, because like we said, there are others. Um, we'd love to hear them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so there we have it. Check out all the links down in the description below. Like, comment, do all the things that YouTubers tell you to do, I guess. Um, everything that they tell you to do, yep. Yeah, well not every, everything. Okay, some, most? Most. Yeah, we have mugs. We have mugs, check them out. The link is down in the description. We're prolonging this ending. We are. Remember friends, keep your mug upright. What are you gonna say? Keep the froth in the mug? I got nothing. We need an we ending. We need an ender, Let suggestions. All right, see you guys.